girl naturalini welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be an updated college q and a so i did this video for the first time back in the summer i think in august and this was right before i started my first semester of college and now that my first semester is about to be over i decided to do an updated college q and a so without further ado Let's just go ahead and get started with this video. your favorite part about college so I think my favorite part about college is being independent I really don't have to depend on anybody or anything to do anything that I want to do so I can pretty much be independent and on my own anything that I like about college is being independent question number two what are some of your goals as a freshman so I really don't have any goals as a freshman. Well, maybe at the beginning of the semester, one of my main goals was honestly just to make friends because I, I actually have a hard time making friends. Like I don't make friends easily. Now, when I was in middle school, specifically eighth grade, I was a social butterfly. Like I was making friends with everybody. But now in college, I'm not really making friends. So, that was one of my main goals. So honestly, outside of making friends, I really didn't have any specific goals as a freshman. Um, question number three, how do you stay motivated to study? So this might sound a little bit weird, but my future motivates me to study. So I'm going to explain that. So. In order to get where you're going in the future, you have to be active in the present. So in my mind, I already know I want to get a degree. I want to graduate with a bachelor's degree and have a successful, good paying job. So in order to do that, I know I have to buckle down on the work, study, study, study for tests and final exams. And I know I have papers to write and work to get done. So I'm just go ahead and do it. So pretty much my future, where I want to go, that motivates me to study. Um, question number four, what are your tips on how to stay organized? So staying organized in college is pretty much staying organized in every day-to-day -day life. Pretty much just get a planner or an agenda. Um, that's what I have. I actually have a planner and I write down like when I have tests, or when I have a paper due or when I have a quiz, which is kind of the same thing. But if you write down important things that you have to do, that's how you stay organized. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Just write it down, look at it and do it. So having a planner or an agenda really helps me stay organized. Um, question number five, how do you balance your social life and academic pursuits so i really don't have that much of a social life in college so i don't really have like a lot of friends in college so if i were to develop a social life my academic pursuits pretty much my education that comes first i don't care what it is unless somebody is on their deathbed my academics my education those books those are coming first. Um, question number six, what's the biggest difference between high school and college? So there are a lot of differences between high school and college, but the first main difference is high school is free, college is not. You have to pay to go to college. College is not mandatory. College is not for everybody. 
and everybody is not college material. Now for high school, high school is mandatory. You have to go. K through 12, you have to go to school because if you don't, a truancy officer gonna be coming after your parents and say, hey, why ain't your child in school? So high school is mandatory or K through 12 is mandatory. College is not. And another difference between high school and college, in high school, you have to be dependent on the teachers to give you the work. Like if the teachers don't give you the work, you can't do the work. And you can also be independent in high school as well. Like if there's, you know, something wrong with your grade, then you can either go talk to that teacher in person or send them an email. You can pretty much do the same thing in college. But sometimes in high school, some teachers kind of chase students down for their work. In college, they don't do that. If you don't turn it in on time, you will get an F and nobody wants an F in college or even high school. Oh, another difference is in high school, you're surrounded by a lot of kids in your age group. So pretty much if you're a freshman, the typical age group for high school freshmen is 14 or 15. Um, for sophomores, it's either 15 or 16. Juniors, pretty much 16, 17. And seniors can be 17, 18, 19. So it kind of depends on like when your birthday lands and how old you are. But far as college, you have a whole different scenario. In college, you have older people as in like adults coming back to get their degree, like in their 30s and 40s and possibly their 50s. So in college, you have adults. And of course, you have teenagers in college too. But you mainly have like a mixture of um, teenagers and adults in college, whereas in high school, it's just teenagers. So those are like the main differences between high school and college. Um, question number seven, what's the most significant lesson you've learned so far transitioning from high school to college? Ooh, so my biggest lesson I've learned so far far mm, I don't really know um let me see what's the question again the significant lesson you've learned so far I don't really know um because I'm only a freshman so I really haven't you know obviously gone through the whole entire college life yet but I think the most significant lesson I've learned um honestly it's just to be independent and to be um I guess you can say assertive, like I actually have to talk up to people if I want something. Um, whereas in high school, I kind of had to do that, but not as much in college. And again, I'm only a freshman, so I have seven more semesters to go and a whole lot more lessons to learn. Um, question number eight, have you decided on a major? So yes, I have decided on a major. When I first started college, my major was, um, what was it? I think it was social work. And then I was starting to think about the money piece of it because a lot of, you know, careers in social work, they don't really make a lot of money. They do, but they do not make enough. So I was kind of thinking money-wise when it comes to careers because when I graduate from college, I want a good high-paying job. So my um, major right now is criminal justice and I think I'm gonna stick with that major. And it's a whole backstory on how criminal justice even became my major, but I might do a whole nother video on that just because I don't wanna make this video too long. But my major right now is criminal justice. Um, question number nine, are you participating in any activities? So currently right now, I am not participating in any activities. I know when you're a freshman in college, you know, you want to put yourself out there and make a name for yourself and, you know, get involved in activities. But I decided not to my freshman year only because I wanted to get acclimated to college and to the campus life and the college life. But next year in my sophomore year, I do plan on joining a sorority and possibly running for Miss Sophomore 
and possibly joining the cheer team. So all of those things are in mind for next year, for my sophomore year. But right now, as a freshman, I am not in any activities. And last but not least, question number 10, are you staying on campus next semester? So I do not plan on staying on campus next semester only because I think it costs too much and the um, meal plan that you have to have costs too much as well. I think the meal plan costs like $1,250, like $1,250. And to stay on campus, it costs like $3,000. So only reason why I decided not to stay on campus next semester is because I literally live like 40 to 50 minutes away from the college. So honestly, it makes no sense for me to stay on campus when my house is like 40 minutes away from the college. So I do not plan on staying on campus next semester. So those were all of the questions for the updated college Q&A. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share my channel and help me reach my goal of 1,450 subscribers. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.